Hello and welcome to another Scrapping tutorial video. Uh, in this video, we're going to be learning how to create a Discord bot uh, using script and an add-on called Elixio. So the first thing you're going to want to do is download this add-on, which will be linked in the description. From there, you want to go to this link and sign in and then cre create a new application. Uh, and we're just going to name it test. And then we want to go to bot and add bot. Yes, do it. Okay. Obviously, a lot of people name their bots bot. Uh, we'll, do, we'll just do scripting. And we'll see the save the changes. Bot, add bot. Yes, do it. And then we go to OAuth2, I think it is. Um, select bot. Now we can just give it, if it's like your own server, you can just give it admin terms. You copy this link, open a new tab and paste that link. Uh, and then you can select what server you want to go on. I've created a blank server and hit continue and then authorize. It may ask you to verify if you're a robot or not. I assume you're not. And then you can go back to Discord and the bot will have joined the server. Obviously it is offline now. So now we can get the code in. We want to open up your file you need to make sure you have the add-on of XU installed for this to work so we're going to create an on script load function or event log in to and then this is where we go back to our discord developers portal we hit bot which we should be here and you hit copy for this token and then go back in and you paste in the token there do not share this token with anybody I'm only sharing it because after this I'm going to reset it or probably just delete the bot. So do not show that. It is private. If somebody gets access to that, they can control your entire bot with name and then whatever you named the bot. So I named our scripting, I believe. And now we can actually add a command. Uh, when creating a Discord command, instead of just doing command, we actually do Discord command and then ping. We're just going to do some ping command. You don't need this, but it all it signifies like the prefix. Obviously, trigger, and then we can just do reply with ping, or we'll do pong. Right, now we go back and reload this. You can do it in game, I'm just doing it from the console. Uh, no errors. You actually need to reload the server after you reload the script, because obviously we're only logging in whenever the script plugin actually loads. So you need to relog or reload. Um, and then once the server is up, the bot is now online. If we type in ping, there we go. And this is just going to be the first part of, uh, of many tutorials on things you can do with Discord bots and script. Uh, thank you for watching.